When does science go from a beacon of future knowledge to the depths of dark experimentation? Hey peeps, Trace here for D News. Using a small electronic backpack and your smartphone, a new Kickstarter will let you remotely control a living, breathing cockroach. This brought up an ethical dilemma for us, because when it comes to physically tapping into the brains of animals, when do we cross into dark, dark science? science? Scientists have been experimenting with artificially stimulating biology for centuries. Back in 1780, Luigi Galvani demonstrated that electrically stimulating a dead frog's leg will cause it to twitch. From those humble beginnings, we have made leaps. Today we are attempting to learn as much as we can from nature, and even directly stealing the best ideas. Dragonflies are fast, and they are precise flyers. While hunting prey, a dragonfly can rapidly identify and pursue, all while calculating course corrections and compensating for its prey's evasive maneuvers instantly. It's pretty incredible. By strapping a tiny bit of electronics to the back of these top guns, we can tap into their brains, and scientists can learn how to make more precise navigational equipment. Is this ethical? Sure. We're just watching how an expert dragonfly does its thing. Another experiment uses genetically modified viruses inserted into the brains of rats. Those viruses add a gene that lets certain areas of their brain react to light pulses. Using these lights, scientists can trigger aggression, sex, or flight responses, and the rat is still sort of autonomous until they flip a switch. Is this unethical? Thinking about it makes me a little queasy or uncomfortable really, I guess, but their goal is to help people with brain disorders by exploring neurological function in healthy brains, so uh, I don't know. Now back to that Robo Roach. The two guys kickstarting the project, named Backyard Brains by the way, consider their experiment a facet of this latter example. It's a way to learn the neurological function of insects. The remote control doesn't tap into the brain per se, because a cockroach doesn't navigate with eyes in the same way we do, but it uses its antennae to feel for the walls or their predators. This package stimulates the nerves in their antennae, so the roach thinks that there's a wall coming or harm, and it causes it to turn the direction the controller wants. The ethical debate comes down to whether we feel that the roach is in pain, they don't think it is, or afraid. All research currently indicates that they cannot feel fear. Also, the idea of turning a living thing into a toy or a bit of entertainment, that's a little scary. It sounds like something out of a nightmare or one of those dark sci-fi movies. The thing is, cockroaches don't have sentient thought. So all of this feeds the debate. It's enough of a concern that Backyard Brains did write an ethical response to the audience on their Kickstarter page, and their defense is the educational opportunities and the fact that a cockroach isn't actually feeling pain or fear. And even so, the concerns are real. No one wants us to fall into the dark side of science, so what could be next? Could we ultimately tap into human brains and control each other? How do you feel about this? Is this Kickstarter going too far? Tell us where you think the line is for science, and if this experiment has crossed it in the comments section. And make sure you subscribe, and you know what? Send a tweet if you like the show to add DNews. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'm Trace. See you later.